Yeah. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your fave. Back here with another video. And today, I'm finishing up my story time. And it's gonna be part two. So let's get. To, before I start this video, make sure I hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video. You know what I'm saying? Get this. Get this video to 10 likes, you know what I'm saying? We on the road to 100 subscribers. So let's get to this story. Now, like I said in part one, the police, the police stopped me. You know what I'm saying? He asked me to let me see my hands. He told me, let me see your hands. To see if you had rock to do in my hands. So I was like, okay. Shit, I ain't throw no rock. I ain't throw no rocks in them. Shit, okay. So I gave him, gave him my hands. He had a little flag like the check to see if I had rock. Where's it doing my hand? And in my head, I'm like, bro, I don't have nothing on my hand because I didn't throw no rock, so why? But still, he he checked my hands. I didn't have nothing, so he was like, okay. We just checking to see because there was some of the boys that whoop the whoop did. He was with all that talk. I was ready to go to my damn house. I was tired. I just came out of baseball practice, so I was tired, but I was ready to go to my house. So, long story short, he let me go. So I'm walking home, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking home by myself. I'm walking home by myself, listening to music. So, every like I'm par I'm paranoid, but then at the same time, I'm I'm like I'm not gonna get in trouble. So I'm paranoid. So then this was nobody, everybody I'm cool with, and everybody know the story, and everybody ever does with us. Everybody didn't know that I fucked up. And I told, I was, this is the most dumbest shit. That's why I said I had to be the most dumbest. I knew I was dumb as hell. I told the police where I stayed at. And I told the police my name. So I made everybody think that the police had to find out who the hell I was. And long story short, I told the police where I stayed at. So, well, I didn't technically, I didn't tell them where I stayed at. I told them, like, Another address, and like I guess gun police, they gonna check everybody out. So basically, I'm walking home, you know what I'm saying? Minding my business, I'm walking home. So I go in the house, you know what I'm saying? I go in the house, act like nothing happened, act like nothing happened. I'm just coming from from playing basketball, I'm acting like nothing happened. So I'm nervous, I'm nervous as hell. Cause I think the police coming back. Uh, I feel like the police coming back to my house. Basically, I feel like they come and find me. So basically, I go in my, I go in my room. I start playing. I start listening to music and playing 2K. You know what I'm saying? And I say about 10, 15, 30. I say about 10, 15, 20 minutes later. I started. I started getting on. I started. I, what was I doing, bro? I don't remember what I doing. But I don't know. I don't remember what I was doing. But basically. I'm laying on my Yes, I know what I was doing. I was laying on my bed playing the game. I forgot I forgot I'm tripping. I was laying in the bed, so then my mom then the crazy part, my mom went home when I was home. So in my mind, basically, alright, it's my sister, her boyfriend, and her, her and my little nephew there. So boom, I'm in my room. My sister, my sister said, Munchie. In case y'all haven't noticed, that's like, that's my childhood nickname. Everybody that know me, they call me that. Well, some people that know me, they call me that. But my sister said, Munchie, um, the police outside. I was like, hmm? I said, what the police outside? Me knowing me, they didn't know what was going on. So I was like, the police outside? The police outside for? So, <laughs> so basically, I, I walk outside. I didn't even walk outside. I didn't, I swear, I didn't walk outside. I stood behind the door and I was like, Police don't see me, so I'm doing it. I'm doing that, yo. So then the stupid part, I know I shouldn't have went outside. So my mom, I'm like, shit, they gon' they ain't looking for me. But then when I walked outside and I saw the ball, I saw the dude with the ball head. I like, oh damn, man, that's the man that stopped me when he was. That's the man that stopped me at first. So I walked outside and my mom. Like, Boy, I'm scared, boy. I'm scared, boy. Boy, all the run, all the run, dog. I swore all the run, so I ain't run. So, so 
I see the police officer, I'm like, he's like, oh, yeah, how you doing, sir? I'm like, how you doing? He's like, your name is Jeremiah Jennings? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, all right, well, turn around. I'm like, what you mean, turn around, man? He said, turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm like, oh, man, this man is serious, bro. So my the nephews, this, this is the sad, this is the crazy part about this shit. I thought I was going to jail, jail. I thought I was going to jail where well, I'm going to be wearing a jumper suit, the big ass orange jumper suit. I'm be eating that nasty ass food. I'll be seeing on TV. I'm going to be doing all that shit. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, man, I'm going to be back. In my head, I'm like, I'm going to be back, man. No, I'm going to be back. Shit ain't going to be, nothing ain't going to happen. Boom. So I'm in the car. I'm in the pool. I'm in the dog on. I'm behind. So he handcuffed me, put me in the car. And my sister didn't tell me, I'm going to call our mama to come get you. I'm like, all right. So. He got me in the police. He got me behind. He got me. In, he got me in the back of the police car, and he telling me, "Oh, uh, so what y'all was doing? So what y'all was doing? Uh, what made y'all want to throw rocks?" And I was like, "Man, bro, you gon' bro, you just came arrest me, and you gonna try to talk to me?" So I, like, he just kept talking, and I was, I was saying, "I don't know, sir. I don't know." I was just, he was just talking. I went right. So, bro, I was so scared, dude stopped at the store. I'm like, what the hell is you doing stopping at the store? Because in my mind, I watched so many movies, dog. I was so scared. I thought somebody was going to mess around. I thought somebody was going to mess around and hop in the police car and took the police car and go up and go up and just go. And take the police car, steal the police car and just take it and drive. So in my mind, I was, I was scared. I was scared as hell behind that police car. So basically... You know what I'm saying? Long story short, boom. We get to the police station, so, boom. All my underhome, we get to the police station, and they got like a little plate, like they got, when you first walk in, it's a door, so he, me, so I went through the door, you know what I'm saying? And they got this little place where you gotta put your fingers, do all this, all the crazy stuff. So, I go, I'm the last person in the all my own home boys they done got caught. Cause we we ran from the police. I ain't gonna lie, we ran. We ran. We we thought we was going to jail jail. So I think that's why we all ran. But basically we all ran, you know what I'm saying? I'm the last person to come in there. I'm like, man, who the fuck told them people my name? In my head, I was dumb as fuck. I thought somebody told about told I thought one of my homeboys told the police my name. But my dumb ass. I'm the one that told the police my name. Man, I told the people where I stayed at. So I was a dumbass kid. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, who told my name? I'm, I'm in the, we all, we all, they got us all right there in that little room. And I'm like, man, somebody told my name, man. Somebody told my name. Somebody told my name, man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta see me, cuz. So, boom. I'm saying the police, they talking us, talking about, oh, so y'all wanted to be on some GT type stuff. Y'all were storming, y'all was doing this, doing that. And then my hell, I'm like, how the fuck we doing something with GT? Don't even do that shit with GT, stupid ass police. So I was quiet, I was quiet the whole time. So they, they scanning us, they scanning our fingerprints, doing all that extra stuff. I'm like, damn, bro, they putting up our name in the system. Are we really gonna go to jail? I'm scared, like, I'm scared as hell. I'm like, damn. Damn, bro, we going to jail, jail. I'm like, dog, we going to jail. So, you know what I'm saying? He getting all our names, doing this and stuff. So we like, oh, they got a clean record. They ain't never did. I'm like, no, duh, dumbass. We freshmen in high school. What are we going to do? We ain't do nothing. Like, we ain't no trouble kids, you dumbass. Why, why would we? Why would our name be in the system? You Googling it. You looking up our names and see if we bad kids. We are not bad kids, you dumbass police. So, you know what I'm saying? Who do we? They they fingerprint our name, doing this, doing that. And to me, he asked all our parents, he asked us for our parents' numbers. And at the time, I didn't know my mom's number. So I did this. I'm like, oh, snap, I got my phone. So I'm just, I'm putting my, I'm like this. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I'm scrolling and looking for my mom's number to get a police my number. He's like, hey, boy, give me that phone. What's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, my bad. I thought we could have had one. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh man. So he took my he took the phone on. He took the phone basically. So he's he's saying he scanned our he scanned our fingerprints. Woo -doo -woo. Basically he scanned our fingerprints. We both we all do my name. He take our picture. 
and he put us in the holding cell. We was in the holding cell for about two. We was in the holding cell, I, I say, for about an hour and 45 minutes, almost two hours. So they calling us one by one, one by one, one by one. And he, they asking us who threw the rocks. We not finna tell who threw the rocks. We're not finna tell. But I guess the dude, I guess the dude found out on his own. We not finna tell who threw the rocks. We not finna tell, yo, cause throwing rocks. But none of us threw the rocks, so none of us threw the rocks, basically. And I'm not finna tell who threw the rocks. I'm a real nigga. I'm not finna tell who really threw this shit. I know this shit happened almost five or six years ago, but I'm still not gonna tell who threw the rocks. So boom. You know what I'm saying? We're in the holding stuff. We talking about how we gonna be good ass kids. How we not gonna be? How we not gonna? We was basically, we was basically saying we not gonna get in trouble. We gonna stay in school. We gonna do all. We was basically saying shit that we knew what we was gonna do in the first place. We was just scared as hell. We thought we was going to jail, jail. We thought we was going to jail with the big boys. So boom. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to figure out how to, we basically end up talking about, man, and me, I'm like, man, bro, I'm standing in the house, dog. I ain't never, I'm standing in the house. Only time y'all gonna see me when I'm, when I got a basketball game. <laughs> I swear, that's the only time, that's what I said. Y'all ain't gonna never see me, dog. Only time y'all gonna see me is when I go, wanna go play basketball under the net. Y'all ain't gonna see me. You know what I'm saying? They start calling, they, they, they start, they start, basically they start telling us, hey, they start calling us one by one, telling them, like, call your parents, call your parents. So basically, we called our parents. We basically, basically they took us to jail for nothing. But what we did, what happened, the whole situation was stupid as hell. But basically, they called, they let us call our parents. Our parents can't get us. And they told us we had a court date. Now, I scrolled to the court date. We all, then the court day was at like, it was before school. The court day was at 8 o'clock. School started at 7.25. So, we go to court. We all in the court. It wasn't even a courtroom. It was like a juvenile little courtroom, huh, bro. Like, they got, you know them bitches they got in church? That's basically what they had. And we all in there. And, we, like, when we first walked in, we up in us. We up in us just, we like, whatever, bro, whatever, bro, whatever. Basically, so. The judge, the judge is like, he gave us a speech. He's like, what happened? What made y'all want to throw rocks? He's like, I don't know. So basically, they read us. They basically read us all this extra stuff. But long story short, so the judge was like, and I always, I always, I, I understood what he was saying. And I feel like we should never do this. We, we should never run. He basically said, never run from the police. The police is here to help you. And in my head, I'm like, no, y'all wasn't, but y'all was taking us to jail because a rock was thrown. And we, we don't know, we don't, we don't know what happened. So basically, hey, basically, we didn't get in trouble. All they did was tell us, don't throw, don't throw rocks and never run from the police. So this is what I'm going to tell y'all, tell y'all. I'm, I'm 19 years old, and I have common sense now. So I'm going to tell you 13, 14 year olds, and 15 year olds. And 10, 11, 12, and 13 years. Don't run from the police and don't do the stupid shit we did. Especially, don't do what the hell I did because I was a dumbass. So, but well, long story short, thank y'all for watching this video. I got another story time for y'all and I have a sports video dropping. Make sure I subscribe, make sure I hit that, make sure I like this video and share this video. I love y'all. 100 subscribers on the way. Let's go. Peace.